you spent the last week really sort of opening up a lot about mental health and what can be done about it. In your opinion, in your proposal, what should the league do to sort of help athletes take better care of their mental health? Um, I think right now they're doing a good job by acknowledging it. I think that's the uh, biggest thing. Uh, we brought in um, a doctor that helps with that, mainly just for moral support if you need it, always there around. I think that's the first step. You know, you can't really force someone to open up or do things like that, but providing them with the place and the space to do so is big. And I think as long as we continue to move towards allowing players to express themselves, uh, having a place where they can confide in, uh, that's huge, definitely at the professional level. And then you talked to us a lot last season about your wife helping you a lot growing up and things like that. Was that sort of the start of all of this um, decision to to be willing to step up and sort of become the face of this conversation, which is, is not always an easy one? Uh, definitely. Um, my wife now, then girlfriend, uh, since college, you know, always supported me when it came to having those deep conversations. And, um, you know, I was able to support her. She was able to support me and we was able to be more open. And with that, you know, I gained confidence in myself. Uh, I had a great support staff at LSU as well, where I was able to, you know, gain confidence. And once I got the confidence to speak on it, you know, I was, I'm not afraid to, you know, open up and uh, be a guy to talk about it because I'm very, confident now in my abilities, my things that I can bring to the table, the people that I can help. And if I can help, you know, even one, two, three people, uh, that's big. So I, I don't mind speaking at all. And congratulations on being a new daddy. Thank you. Okay, we'll go uh, Mia and then D-Rock. Yeah, DJ, we haven't spoken to you uh, since the new arrival. Congrats on Mackenzie. Uh, Thank you. Are you sleeping much? How are you sleeping much? How is the, uh, the lifestyle? Depends on how she's feeling. Uh, it's it's tough. It's tough at times, you know, being a new parent. But, you know, I'm always there to support. I'm always there to, you know, if she's crying at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you know, if her mom's not already on it or she's struggling with it, I'm willing to jump in. Uh, it's tough when you have to be up here early in the morning, but A, I rather now than during the season. So uh, shout out to Mackenzie for cooperating and coming uh, at a great time for us. Love it. Because, yeah, I mean, obviously you're having to get up and then go to work, even if it's not during the season. Um, so far for you guys, um, what is your assessment of this offense and your quarterback, Trevor Lawrence? Uh, I like it. Um, you know, it's still building. Uh, we have a long ways to go, but you definitely can see the attention to detail that uh, everyone on the team has. Definitely on the offense, we're all speaking the same language. Um, we know where we're supposed to be, where we're supposed to be there. Um, everybody's up in their game this year. The competition is great. The um, camarader camaraderie, the teamwork is good. There's a lot of support going on, uh, and that's credit to the staff as well. Uh, then you got talented players. You got uh, Trevor, you know, who's still learning, but you know the talent is definitely there. Um, he don't mind throwing it. He don't mind slinging it, which is something that's going to help this offense for sure. So we still have a ways to go, you know, but to get to where we want to be, but it's not a bad start at all. I know I spoke with you uh, before the draft, or I should say the day of the draft, uh, obviously when Trevor was selected. Um, looking at him now, you guys have had two, three weeks of on-the-field workouts. In particular today, how would you assess his performance today? I know last week we watched him and he had some red zone struggles. What did you think of him out there today? Um, I think he did well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he threw me some – some pretty good bombs today, which is cool. You know, I like catching those. Uh, but, yeah, you know, every day is a step. One thing that I've learned, you know, during these OTAs is we have a very competitive team. So the defense not going to make it easy for us at all. So we have to, you know, go out there and take it. So anytime that we do complete passes like that today, you know, that's a credit to the work that we've been putting in, the work that he's been putting in. And... Uh, 
once again, it's just OTAs right now. So by the time that first game get here, it's going to be way more of those type plays being made. Awesome. Thanks, DJ. All right, we'll go D-Rock and then John Reed. Hey, DJ. Uh, Urban said a few minutes ago that he told you, you know, when he got here in January that he didn't think you played real well last year and that you were a big guy playing little and you needed to, to toughen up and get stronger. What's that like when you're hearing that coming out of his mouth? Uh, You know, I, I like it. I, I love the challenge. I also, you know, told Coach that I'm like that, you know, uh, when I go out that ball. So I love talking to Coach Maya. He's a he's a competitor. He's going to push me. But he also know that I'm going, you know, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to step up. I'm going to make plays. Uh, if, you know, he give me good advice, him to go get in the weight room, I get in the weight room, I put the weight on. But, you know, I know, you know, hey, I'm – um, once again, I'm like that. So, but you know, I love the, I love when he pushed me to be better than what I am. You know, so to make him happy, you really got to be balling. You know, so you really got. So I got to step it up to make him happy. You feel me? But uh, it's it's definitely good push. I like having a guy like that, an alpha that's gonna push you to be an alpha. When when you finished last season, did you kind of have the same feeling uh, that maybe you didn't play as well as you would? Wanted to? I mean, we was one in fifteen. I don't think anybody played as well as we wanted to. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't my best at all. It was times where I let the circumstances uh, get a little bit, you know, control my output. I feel like, which if I'm going to be the guy that I want to be, I got to be that guy all the time. So uh, I take credit for that. Um, I think I finished with like 700 yards or something like that, which I feel like I'm way better than that. But due to a few mixed games and just some games that wasn't good, uh, at the end of the day, the NFL is hard to get yards either way it go. So uh, I definitely think I could be way better than what I was last year. That's definitely the floor for me the rest of my career. I won't be going back there. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Uh, John Reed and then John Shipley. Hey, DJ, yeah, I mean, you've been known as a, as a speed guy. W was that a challenge? And I mean, ha have you put a lot of effort into weightlifting since you've been bo playing ball? Or was that something different that he said to you that you nah, put a great? I was, I was very big in the weight room at LSU. I got to the NFL, uh, kind of focused more so on skill work. I, you know, you got to keep the fundamentals and keep the weight uh, lifting going. And I feel like that's a part of my game that I lack. Uh, so I had to, remo every year I find something to make myself better. I had to remotivate myself to get in the weight room, but now I like it. It's smooth, it's easy. I enjoy stepping on the scale and seeing my weight. I enjoy looking bigger, feeling bigger, running faster. So, you know, credit to the uh, staff that we have here, the uh, weight room, the guys, the uh, intensity that we bring in, you know, uh, I really enjoy it. It makes it a place that I don't mind going and getting some work in. Uh, I'm not hiding from, you know, the weight room. Now it's pretty exciting. I like it. Yeah, just to follow up, I mean, what what, are, what it means to you and, and, and your other teammates that your head coach says that he want to bring you guys the best, that you don't have to go, like you don't have to go in Lu back to Louisiana and find your a strength guy, anything like that, and just what what does that mean as a as a team that you guys got all this available to you here? I mean, you know, hearing it sounds good, but actually seeing it is different, and seeing the progress that we've been doing uh, since you know this new staff, this new era, then took over. You know, it's like practicing what you preach. So once you show guys that we're not only saying it, but we are building these things, we are putting extra time in, we are listening to you, asking you about, you know, your body, what you can do better. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. That's why you have so many guys here because they're holding up their end of the bargain, you know. Uh, so since they're holding up their end, you know, we have no problem holding up our end. Uh, we enjoy being pushed, especially I do. So, you know, hats off and credit uh, to those guys for bringing that energy. Thank you. John Shipley. 
Hey, DJ, can you just talk a little bit about uh, Coach Lowell and uh, Marvin Jones and just, you know, kind of what you've learned from each of them since they both have joined the team? Who was that first person you said? Uh, Sanjay Lowell. Oh, uh, you know, I, I, I love it. I love both of those guys. Uh, you know, Coach Sanjay is a great teacher. He's a, He studies the game. He's bringing – he's breaking everything down like to a science kind of like you're in school but then we're also going out on the field and we're doing it so you see it and he's not one of those guys to practice it on tuesday and we don't talk about it again to next tuesday he he he's big on carrying our individual until our team periods and things like that and to be doing that now uh otas and to to continue to have those sound bites from him uh is big to put into our you know repertoire so, you know, I really enjoy being pushed and, and learn, learn from him. Also, Marvin, uh, you know, I, Marvin's just a great guy. He, you turn on the film, you see what he can do uh, year in, year out, very consistent, uh, great guy, great family man, great role model, person that, you know, I really enjoy uh, having in the room, you know, but it's also good. It's also a good feeling to know that you have a – uh, a top dog in there that defenses have to respect. And that makes me pick up my game because, you know, I always want to be the best on the field. So if he's out there making plays, I got to go make plays too. Uh, like friendly competition, but it's only going to get us both to where we want to be at and get this team to where we want to be at. And as far as long as he's up in his game, I'm up in my game. Next guy got to up his game, and that's how the room uh, becomes better. Thanks, DJ. Congrats again. Thank you.